listening to the whispers, trying to find, as I interpret it, trying to find a future graveyard, new remains of ancient creatures. And we can see all around it different trails of pollen, different trails of almost invisible particles flowing by. And this overgrown wheel trying to decipher them, listening to them, hearing them. And I really like this idea of this creature being able to locate these different hidden parts of the Abyss Garden just because of the different plants that live on them and the pollen traces that they leave behind. And besides that, I really enjoy the, just the simplicity of it. I feel like it's another one of these doodles that was really fast for me to create. And that's kind of an interesting piece of information actually that I never really thought about. Because this character is basically, because it's my first commission, it's for my first commission that I created this character. And so I actually thought a lot about it, about its design, and I had some preparation time about it, so I know pretty much what it's all about, how it's supposed to look, and how it's behaving, what's, what it is looking for, what's its actual purpose. And it might be one of the reasons why it's so fast now for me to put it onto paper, because somehow I created such a precise map of this character's design in my head that I'm able to replicate it in quite of an intuitive way. So, as I previously stated, I really don't have much to say about this doodle besides what I already said. And if I could add something, it would be that, as always, I'm really curious to see where this character is heading. Because for the moment it didn't really change a lot compared to a few of the other, of the other characters that we followed in the Abyss Garden. Some of them died. Some of them turned into different creatures. Some of them merged. Some of them found new friends, new buddies. I'm also looking forward to go back to the slug creature now that I think about it. But so far, this creature, this overgrown wheel, hasn't yet went through any sort of evolution. I'm guessing that we're probably gonna see her travel towards some more decaying creatures and probably develop a bit more of its process because I'm getting curious as to what new entities she will end up creating with her stick and her half sand clock. Because the first time we saw her, she did create these three kind of squiddy creatures out of the remains, out of the remaining ideas, the remaining will of the peaceful demon. And so we do have quite a few creatures that now disappeared. And it'd be quite interesting next time we see her, if it's indeed next to the remains of one of those creatures, to see her interpretation of what their psyche was and in what kind of creature she ends up turning these ideas. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this doodle. I hope you're having a nice day, a nice evening, a nice morning. And I'll see you tomorrow.